and welcome. This is Melissa Armel with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today to review the market. Why? Because the market's higher, and I didn't get a chance to do a video last night after the Fed announcement, but it did play out the way I accurately predicted. We had a positive reaction. I expected it to blow, and I said, be long something before Wednesday. We didn't blow into the Fed announcement. We rallied. We rallied. We, we did something good. We're positive for the year in the S&P. But the blow kind of actually happened into today, which was interesting, because my target for the blow yesterday for the SPY was 205, and we got above that today. This looks great. So I, I don't, I never said the market was in a downtrend, and I always said the market was in an uptrend. And, and I'm sure there's people that are still probably saying the market's in a, in a downtrend. This is a bear market rally, but it's not. Real buying came into the market today. Real buying came into the market yesterday. I mean, we were talking about this in the room. Actually, I watched the, the Fed announcement what was yesterday the 16th and i talked about this i talked about this in the room this is money coming into the market and it's being bought okay this is real power money look at the volume in that look at the move low in here is 2176 high in here is 20318 are you kidding me and look at the volume in this bar and this bar and this bar and the action was so so what's the word i said it in the room this morning i'm tired now so fluid that you could have even traded this which you normally should not do normally doing a fed announcement you would not trade the market it's usually wily and gyrely and whippy and everything this was such a such a uh, it, such a fluid action with such power that you could have traded it it just went up came in and you could have bought the pullback. You could have bought it here and you could have bought it here. I mean, it was almost like, it was like planned. It was so planned. It wasn't even the normal gyrations you get from the FOMC. It was like a full on planned action that came in, bought the market big, pulled back, got bought again, rallied up and the follow through today. And here's the whole, the whole today, today. And here, let me, let me just go to a bigger chart because here, so let's just go from, this is exactly from the Fed announcement. So 1.45, 2 o'clock from, look at this. This is unbelievable. I mean, I predicted this. <laughs> it's really, really good, people. In here, look at this. See this here? No looking back. No looking back. This is two days of trading, okay, from the Fed announcement. So this really did blow, but it took the follow-through today. And guess what? Expect follow-through tomorrow, too possibly unless we do something weird in a gap but i'm seeing that this will continue to rally here for for another day or maybe two either way what i was talking about in the morning i said you know what? i'd love to see a big gap up in the market D just just expect to wake up one day in the next two weeks with a big gap up in a market and i think it happens because i think the market gets bought overnight somewhere usually happens sometimes on a sunday to a monday even though we had a nice rally today and even though we followed through and we're positive i'm i'm looking for a big gap up in the market somewhere something that's going to happen that holds and then just tons of buying comes in and just falls through and we make the new high that i've been predicting all year and all last year and i kept saying and no one believed me and i know that we fell off a plan in here but not really not according to me you got to remember i'm very very good at reading weakness so if i am looking at the market and i short stocks every day of my life and i'm amazing at shorting weakness spotting it seeing when somebody's going to fall off a planet and i'm calling the market long and i'm not saying that this is lower then you, then you have to think about what i'm saying but really that's not how i figured it out i figured it out because i know how to read money and moves in the market and the way i know how to do that is because i know how to accurately predict what something's going to do based on the gaps i read and rate the gap in the market i read and rate the gap in the stocks that i trade whether bullish or bearish it tells me whether i can buy it or short it and that's how you make money and i'm more convinced than ever it's the only way to make money so many people are just confused now and don't know what to do and based on the trading from today and yesterday this is not the short squeeze yet i expected a blow we didn't blow today we didn't blow yesterday so this is a nice concentrated buying action so now that i'm realizing that here actually this is something exciting this could be the gap up that makes the gap up go and run and hold whenever we gap up big yeah that's what's going to happen that's what's going to happen we're going to gap up big with buying and then overnight and what's going to happen is then the short squeeze will happen in a gap up well they'll scramble to cover then into the pre-market of the day of the gap up and on the live day so probably here's definitely one level here here 
I think this is a big whopper of a lever here. This is a big level here. I'm too tired tonight. I'll talk about this in another video, but I had talked about in a webinar back last year, the beginning of this year, yeah, it was January. And I talked about the fact that I found 210 spider options that somebody bought a huge position the day the chain opened out to 2018. 4.3 million shares of it. Jimungus, okay? Cost was Jimungus as well. But the point I'm trying to make is they were at 210. They were at 210 and they were, hold on, let's just look at it now. Let's just look at it now. I know I'm tired, but let's just look at it. When did I see this? I saw it like within two days. I think it was December. Yeah, it was December. It was December, but I think I talked about it in a webinar in January. There, look at that. This is interesting because this was, at the time that I saw this, these were around 20 something so these are just starting to get back to be situated again so this is this is the open interest okay it's a 210 strike expiration date is this is out till december 2018 so it's a while away okay two years so that is a big position. It's such a big position and it happened within 48 hours of the option chain opening because I noticed it. That, because it was, it was, this was around the days that I actually took the spider options I'm in right now because I did them in December. Anyways, what I'm saying is that it's too big of a position to be a hedge in my opinion. I believe it was a full on thought out position that, that, that it was paid up for. And at one point this was down, I remember it was down around 10. So it was, it was like 25 at one point, and then it was around 20 at one point, and then this was had pulled back then, because this remember what the market did then in January, in February came in, so these dropped. But this is still a monster position in here. This is really big. And that's a big, big number. And look, it's $5 away from it now. I'm surprised that this isn't, this is gonna be worth a lot more tomorrow. So $5 away from the 210 strike price, two years out, somebody bought this. I have to look at some of these other ones here. I just don't know how many long-term positions I really wanna be in, but what is it, March 2016? I'll look at this later, I'm too tired right now. But the bottom line is that this is good people. This was something I saw that, it wasn't like I saw this and then I decided the market was higher when I saw this, but this was a confirmation. This was a confirmation because it was a planned position that happened between Christmas Eve day and the Monday after the Christmas holiday. So within, it, it was a planned position. So I don't think it was a hedge. So you never know, okay, you just never know, but it was too costly, too expensive and within within 48 hours of the option chain opening. And that position is gonna be in the money in $5 over 210. So this is pretty amazing. Let's just see here what in the money ones are. Here, 205 today are worth this. Let's see the high today, 2172. Look at that, it's crazy. So, Pretty amazing. This is interesting stuff, people. But that's not how I predicted the market was higher. I predicted the market was higher because of gaps. So good at reading and predicting what something's going to do before it does it because I'm I'm great at reading gaps, and that's how I'm able to do it. I mean, there's no explanation for how I'm able to so accurately predict things on a, a miniature time frame and in a bigger time frame out other than my gap rating system. It's the 26 point rating system that I do and that's what I teach in the class if you wanna learn how to do it. And then you'd be able to predict what things are gonna do before they actually move because that's how you make money as a trader. Being able to predict it, okay. Just guessing that this was lower here 
didn't get you anywhere and shorts are going to get squeezed. So I think the next level is right around here. Well, we almost were here. 206-ish, 207, 210, and obviously over the high, which some people shorted. But that seeing that option chain gave me the confirmation and so many other things too. So many other things gave me the confirmation and you know, those of you who've been following me can see this. People always email me and they want information. Go back and watch my videos. Go back and watch the way I've called this nearly impossible market. I've called it extremely well. I don't do a market video every day, but I do them a lot. I do them a couple times a week. I do them whenever I have time or I see something that's notable. I didn't have time yesterday, but definitely wanted to take the time today. Although I made the prediction in the Monday night webinar, I said be long, tip of the tip of the week, be long. Be long something before the Fed announcement. That's a strong stop. Let's look at all the things I told everybody to be long. That, that, look at that amazing thing today. Apple, meh, I don't think I had this on the list, but it's higher. Some things look better than this. Facebook I had on the list. I had the nice rally here yesterday. What was the other thing I said? Google. This was crazy today. I almost got over 745. So there's just tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff. But ultimately, if you want to make money, it can be very challenging to trade sometimes if you don't know what to do. There's so many stocks out there and so many things to look at and so many things to pick. But, oh, I know what I was going to say. That's what I was trying to say about the, I'm all over the place here today because I'm tired and I got to go. But the, I was trying to say that I'm great at spotting weakness, okay? I love to short, and I was never calling the market as weak. So if you really want to get good at reading how money moves in the market, number one, I think you take my class. You learn the rating system. Whether you want to go long or short, you do the bullish class, the bearish class. But get good in one direction. You get good in one direction. It'll help you see the other direction clearer when something's real. People that are playing long and short every day of the week and 50 things and all at once don't often see things as clear as me. And often they just don't. But that's how I looked at this market too. And I said, wait a minute, this isn't, you know, I wouldn't short this market if I was a person that loved to short, which I am. I would not be shorting this market, okay? And I love to short. So I just didn't see the weakness in it. But a lot of people did. Most of the planet did. It just wasn't there. It just wasn't there. And every time I saw it, trying to break, it couldn't do it. And every bearish gap I saw, I just didn't see it in it with the, with the uh, you know, with the follow through. And, it, and it's more than that. It's like, there was a one day. For all intents and purposes, we really could have broke this. Fell off the planet. We didn't do it. This was the anomaly day back here. That's what I titled this day. We broke in here. And I was like, fine, okay. We're going to break, break the world. But we didn't. And then we quickly rallied right after. Do you see that? And it was a big rally. 181 is the high, uh, is the low in here. And the high up here is 195. This is only happening in a couple of days' time. Do you see what I'm saying here? It's like this happened very, very quickly. Back up again. Same thing with this. Look at all this. This is almost straight up like an arrow. See what I mean? Anyways, when you read both directions, you can, you can read the other direction a lot clearer. A lot of people that trade get all into things and think, oh, this is going too far. Oh, it's not far enough or whatever it is. No, just read the gaps, rate the gaps, look for the entries, find the targets, take the train, make the money, and get out. And that's it. But in order to do that, you have to be able to predict it. And whether you hold it to the target or not, it just doesn't even matter anymore. I've realized it's it's really just about making money consistently. And in order to do that, you have to be able to consistently predict what something's going to do. So great call I made here in the market. Hope everyone listened to what I said about being long something before the FMC announcement. Another, another great prediction I made. Have a good night, everyone. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you would like more information about signing up for the class. 
Email me at melissa at thestockswitch.com. Have a good night.